Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, as you can see on my background, I'm currently inside Excel and like there's a calendar. Because in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create calendar in Excel 2024. So we're going to utilize three methods here. The first one is actually what I'm quite surprised of. Not a lot of people know about it. So I'm just going to open up a blank Excel file like this one right here. As you can see, this is a very new or a very blank Excel file. Once you're here, I want you to go on the upper left section that has file. Again, guys, it's going to be file, okay? Once you're in file, I want you to go in here that says new. Please don't stay at home because if you stay at home, these are your previous uh, works, okay? So go to new and then once you're here, search for online templates and then basically type in here calendar. Now, if you type in calendar, you'll have a lot of calendars to go through. You have semester, you have weekly, you have social media content calendar, and so much more. Take note, you should be connected to the internet for this to have a lot of results. So just choose one of each if you want to try that. But for me, I'm going to go with this one. Any year calendar. Should be this one right here. As you can see, it's already presetted. We have January to December. Very color-coded. Also, this is 2023, so this is also applicable if I change the year, for example, change it to 2025. As you can see, everything has changed. Same goes if I change this to 2030, the days will change also. It will now change across all of the sheets here, going from January to December. And basically, that's the idea there. You can also change the week start. For example, you want to start on Monday, you want to start it on Sunday, please do so. Anyway, I suggest going Sunday to make sure you have the tracking purposes. All right. Now with this one, I think we're all done with the first method. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. I'm just sharing it to you because I'm quite sure and also quite surprised that not all of people is aware about this one. So let's try the second method. Now going back on my previous file, which has this formula right here. For the second method, we're going to utilize the formula approach. Let me just zoom out a little bit just for a little while right there. And with this one, I'm going to create something on this right side right here. So what I'm going to create right now is basically a sample outline. Right now, this is going to be the month of July. As of now, I'm making this video. So I'm going to type in here July 2024. And then we're going to make this one. Let's just say Monday. And before I type in the weeks, let me just zoom in a little bit. Move over like here. A little bit more. Moving over. So with this being said, I'm going to type in week. Let me zoom out a little bit. Perfect. So I can add week here. And then Monday, Tuesday, of course, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and of course, Saturday. And we cannot forget about Sunday. And right here, I know what we're missing. We're missing the numbers, right? So go in here under the Monday, the first day of the week, and type in the sequence formula. So you can type in their sequence. Make sure you have the parenthesis. Type in 6 by 7. Close the parentheses and uh, close the formula. Click on enter and we have the dates we're looking for. So you might notice that why am I using 6 by 7? Because it will be 6 vertically, 7 horizontally. That's the idea there. And now since we have successfully added the dates, I'm going to add in here on the left side just an open space. The 1st of June 2024, July. So equal sign, 1 ampersign or ensign for the general crowd let me just look for it perfect right there type in july another ampersign and then click on 2024 click on answer so we have this i'm gonna call it formula something like that so first of july 2024 i'm gonna just let it stay here sorry about that so i'm just gonna let it stay here as it is for now so next up we want to know what day basically of the week is june for july first sorry so under in here, type in the weekday formula. So equal sign weekday should be looking like this. The parenthesis right here and the serial number. Now you might be wondering what is the serial number here. So let me just start with the formula again. Copy this first, this formula right here. So click on copy, should be around here. Or control C on your keyboard. Perfectly right there. Make sure it's still correct. So with this one, type in weekday. Perfect paste in the formula so i'm gonna click on copy right there and with this being said i'm gonna type in the return type so comma 
and then look for this return type you have 1 to 17 we're looking monday to sunday so i'm going to type in 2 right there close the formula click on enter so july 1 is basically the day or the monday if i check it on my calendar so july 1 is really monday right there perfect right next part i'm going to prepare some little code here so just make sure i have this code so for this one click on the first method we created earlier subtract or minus the weekday click on enter so we have this number now since we're talking about dates let's check or change the formatting here now we're just going to look for a formatting around this one so it should be around here somewhere so there it is you click on number format and look for date you have short date or long date i'm going to go for a short date so we have it right here now basically on how it's formatted we need to change this one a little bit i'm just going to add in plus one and now perfectly it is i just made sure we have it correctly so that being said i just double check if it's really july 1st the monday so next up since we have prepared this formulas right here going back on the number first or sorry about that first of july opening right here let's edit this formula a little bit so sequence six to seven i'm gonna add in here the formula we had from earlier which is gonna be the july first right there same idea but we need to add it a parenthesis so we need to exclude it as it is so make sure you have successfully excluded it and then subtract it or minus it with the weekday formula which should be this one right here let me just type in here properly so weekday to make sure we have it properly and we don't have any error so just don't click on the weekday itself but manually type in weekday again same formula so you can post a video from time to time so you won't get um confused here i'm gonna go number two so monday to sunday another close parenthesis right here and then plus one so plus one right here and basically close the formula i think i have the proper formula here so just making sure let's count the parentheses so one right here and then another one right here because it's really important for your formulas to be closed so i'm missing a formula right there i'm missing a parentheses good thing i double check so minus weekday we have one right here and then we have one right there i think we're good to go so I click on enter and we have this numbers right here they're not formatted just yet so what you can do is control shift down control shift right and then go in here the number formula or control one same drill you can control one right there or click on this little sign if i click on it it will open up the number format and now once you're here please go to custom delete this one because we're talking about dates might as well type in the letter d only and you'll be good to go click ok and we have successfully formatted it so this is going to be july 1st so what we did right here is we just made sure that this is real july 1st because we're not going to be sure unless we double check right so we have triple checking here once is via the calendar of my pc we have this first method also the second method of weekday we also have this one technically we have four um checking method to make sure we oh, have the july 1st as one in monday now what if i want to change this one let me just make this one june as you can see it's really reactive and this is what i'm talking about to double check we all know june 1st is going to be on saturday but we want the week before saturday so this 27 up to 31 i think this is still may but you need the whole calendar right and that's june right there or july under here i want to make this one for example august and we have a very reactive calendar what if we make this one march it's really awesome right now additional information what if you want to know what week it is of the year so to type in here week num the formula week num right there close parenthesis click the number for monday should be around here so this is going to be t9 so t9 right here and then comma go to monday returning to monday now it's going to be number two close the parenthesis and then click on enter so this is going to be week nine of the year right now moving forward this is week 14 starting on july 1st now you might be wondering how come i manually type in t9 because it's blocking the monday from earlier right basically this one right here the 26 is t for the column and the nine for the row that's why it's called t9 perfectly right there 
I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can really appreciate how it looks like. So I'm just trying to make it looking like this. We have this right now, right? So I'm just trying to make it look like that. So what we're going to do right here is select all of the columns here. After successfully selecting them all, click on right click and look for column width. Right now we have 8.14, but I want it to be on 3. So hopefully it doesn't ruin the entirety of the calendar. I can now zoom in just a little bit to make sure we focus on our template right here. Now you may be wondering what are this parentheses or number sign. They're just um the symbol. Once that you're seeing this one, that means you need to expand it. But for now, I'm going to expand it later on because I want to show you how this works. So I have a way here to make sure this is going to be shown. So please do not expand it on this method. So you can just click here, first merge and center. And same goes with this one, merge and center. So you can now successfully check it. Because if you expand this one, it will ruin our formula. Now let's change the color here. I'm going to go in here, change the color to around this one. Make sure the text is around the white color. And then bold the letters. So next up, since to avoid confusion, I'm going to highlight the week and then the weekends. Change the color to them. Let's say about, I'm going to go with around this one, if I'm not mistaken. Choosing a light color. How about this one? To perfectly blend it in. And then since this is a week, they're not technically dates, let's add the border. So I'm just going to look for the border here, right here. Give me a second. Now it's looking really good right now. It's looking a little bit of a calendar. Now, of course, we need to sort of separate the week because they're not technically dates. So I'm going to add a border. We're going to go with the right border right there. So we have successfully separated them. Though only this one right here are the ones that are technically dates. Of course, we can forget these two right here. I'm going to color them perfectly to really complement our design. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. I can change the color also. Make sure they bold them. And make sure this is going to be a dark blue font. And now instead of typing the month here, for example, I can change this one, for example, right to May and change everything. But for now, what if I want it to be a drop down? So first we need a list here from the month. So January, I'm going to pull it down until I have December. Should be around here. Perfect. And then going back on the cell, we're going to go on Zara. So I have a video about this one regarding data validation. So please check it out. So clicking in this one, click on data validation, go on this one right here that says input message or error alert, and then look for list. Make sure you're in settings, click on list right there, click this arrow right here, choose this list, simply click on answer, click on OK. Now perfectly right there, we have a list now, because some people right there don't know the spelling of February, so don't worry about that one, I have your problem solved right here. August is right there. November is right here. I'm going to go back on March. Perfectly right there. It's really the dynamic now. And now speaking of, I can do the same thing with this one. But this will require a very large amount because this is here. This is a number. This is never ending. For example, I put 2024 here up to the part where 9999 and that is really tiresome. For this one, I think it's better to just type it manually like so. Or then having it a list, a list drop down. That will take a very long Excel file. First, let's talk about conditional formatting now. So going on the first one right here, make sure you highlight everything. There's also two ways of highlighting stuff, so make sure you highlight it properly. First one is basically manually highlighting them by your mouse, or click on Control Shift lower icon or lower arrow, and our right arrow. Going back on Home tab, conditional formatting, click on Create New Rule. Go on the last one that says use formula to determine which shells to format. And with this one, type in the equal sign. Choose the first month or first day of the month. I'm just going to delete the first dollar sign there. Second dollar sign because I don't want to lock the formula. Another equal sign, type into the day formula. Let me just remove my cursor. And then add the parentheses. Click format. So make sure in this one, choose a color that you prefer liking. I'm going to go with the yellow. Click OK. Click on OK. So right now, everywhere I go here, for example, I go for Feb, I go for April, and then since the day is July 6, if I click on July, it will highlight what today today is. Now for the last method, basically 
an add-in, this is actually the pretty much more underrated. And I'm sure not a lot of people know about this one. And as you, my viewers, I want to show you this method really quickly. So on a blank sheet right here, go on add-ins. Make sure you're in the home tab. Click on add-ins right there. Click on more add-ins. And with this one, type in calendar. Click on enter. So there is this, the one they call mini calendar. Check it out. We only have two stars for this because not a lot of people know about this. So click on continue. Wait for it to pop up. It's basically working as an image. Making sure it's quite big. Just a little bit right there. Zoom it in. You can zoom it in. Or make sure you do this one. Perfectly right there. Now with this one being said. If you choose a date. For example as today. If you click on it as it is. It will show up this one. Same goes with that being said. Click on OK. It will overwrite the contents. On the lower section. We have this toggle calendar size. Like so. Change calendar theme. And this one change calendar system starts on an ISO calendar system or US Monday 1st calendar system, Tuesday 1st, and so on and so forth. We have this one week number, the one we did earlier. And this one we have highlight range of dates. Click on OK and basically that's it. We can also hide settings here and just make it a simple calendar. Basically that's it. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.